Hello and welcome to the first but yet worst podcast in Philly. And of course, that's not true, but we'll say it. And your favorite podcast show that most people won't listen to. And I checked the public freakout commentary. There was a clip of these four uh, sports, you know, analysts fighting, but they blocked out the fight. So I was like, well, what's the point of putting that up? And then there's a clip of a, a black woman at a gas station yelling at an Asian woman that she hates her people. That's typical. And then there's some uh, other clips of just fights and arguments. It's nothing really worth I guess I like to find wacky, silly clips. And I'm too lazy, folks. Regardless of that, uh, to talk about my uh, boring week, you saw the live stream. Um, what was it? Was it Wednesday night? I don't even know anymore what day. I think it was Wednesday night. I ate a large pizza. Save that for the poop show. I ate five slices of pizza. It was delicious. Um, I could have had six, but it was really cold. and uh, It was just a different idea that I had. Uh, but yeah, once again, a lot of material for the poop show is coming up the following week. And then Thursday at my comedy open mic, uh, yeah, for those who don't know, we've been switching to nights. It used to be Monday night. We've been doing Monday and Thursday, which I know is kind of confusing, but people tell you, oh, I'm gonna, Monday nights are so rough, man. I, you know, I, I can't get out. I'm tired. Thursdays are better. Then you do it on a Thursday, and then certain people don't come out. But regardless of that, we had, uh, our average drop we used to have nine comedians. We've only been having six. We had six comics and no audience, and I found out from a, a local insider, somebody who went to another open mic I used to go to, that my name was dropped. That's right. The open mic on Wednesday that I told you guys about last week that I didn't go to, um, somebody, the host brought my name up uh, at the beginning of the show. He said, well, Josh isn't here tonight, so we're going to have a different type of show. And I'm like, well, different. Does that mean better? Because it sounds like you're trying to say better. So if it's a better type of show, why are you complaining that I don't show up to your open mic? Sounds like to me, you don't want me at your open mic at all. And then I heard that one or two comedians also brought my name up on stage. So I'm a fucking legend, folks. Even at this comedy open mic that I don't go to, comedians are still talking about me. They're still dropping my name in their sets just because I said the N-word a couple times. Get over it, you fucking babies. Um, so yeah, so Thursday night was a typical night, uh, wanted to do a podcast, but we didn't do it, uh, but it's okay, I don't care about the podcast, anyway, I care more about the open mic, folks, uh, that's what I care about, and then Friday night, I uh, did another, uh, Lane Park, a lot of stream, so it snowed a little bit, just had a Wawa Club sandwich, it was cold outside, and it made me, uh, fucking, I think I took two dumps, because of something I ate, once again, a lot of, a lot of material coming up for the poop show, and then Saturday, I did an Old City uh, live stream. I did, for those of you who didn't see the stream, the only thing that interesting that happened was I did create another Ashley Kratz brick. I found a loose brick in the ground. I put it in my bag. It was dirty. And then I walked to the bench. I took out my Sharpie. I wrote down uh, what was there before, allegedly. I'm going to say allegedly. And then I went across from the bike racks where I found it, and I put the brick down. Got dirt all over my hands, and I dropped the brick, and a couple people across the street looked at me. They thought I tripped, and I just waved at them, and they laughed, they didn't know what was going on, and then I checked the brick about 40 minutes later, and the brick was still there, but as far as next week goes, will the brick still be there? I don't know. I don't know, folks, but we created another Ashley Kratz brick, we're keeping the legacy alive, maybe we do this once in a while for the video blogs, but in the meantime, uh, we're going to check out and see what's going on for the, uh, you know, the odd news, which I know people don't care about the segment, but it helps me with my stand-up a little bit, and... Until I could ever figure out, which I probably would ever, another segment for this show. So let's get to the odd news. Fossils of car-sized dinosaur era sea turtle unearthed in Spain. There's too much going on there for me to even think about what actually is happening there. Uh, Virginia man known as Glocks, convicted for felony gun possession. That sounds like a rap name. Check out my boy Glocks. FBI Air Force agents mysteriously raid house of guy who runs the Area 51 uh, blog. Suburban mom handcuffed and jailed for making her eight-year-old son walk a half mile home. What? That's it? That's all she did? Half a mile is not that bad. These kids need the exercise. I mean, I can understand if she made them do something else, but like, that's it? That's a fucking pussy ass law. These kids, they got it so. They, they, they got it so fucking made, you know? Viral video of a man riding a, bu a bicycle with nine children divides the internet. What, was he shirtless or some shit? Brian Cox and Brian Cox 
involved in a hotel check-in mishap. That's pretty cool. They have the same name spelled the same way. Not not a Y or anything else. That is a funny uh that could be a prank call show. Maybe we do that. We're say we're checking the call for Brian Cox. Earbud Peace was stuck in a British man's ear for five years. Well he must uh, must have, if it fit that comfortably, maybe you should just leave it in. So that's right. Chinese man runs a 3 minute and 28 second marathon while chain smoking. That's badass. Uh, sale of beer with alcohol has been banned at World Cup stadiums. So you can't buy beer with like vodka and stuff? Is that, I guess they're trying to say. The NBA just banned off white uniforms because they interfere with digital ads and also because black players don't like white people. They like white women, but they don't like black people. White people in general. I was going for a joke there. Ah, go fuck yourselves. Hey, let's do a podcast to see how you be funny. All right. The Harry Potter star who did huge amounts of cocaine in front of his kids and got into a bar fight at 70 and got into a bar. I don't know what that's about. A uh, man tries to carjack a vehicle with a dead battery. I always wondered if that would happen. I feel like that's the kind of luck I would have. T- uh, TV call preacher jailed for 865,000 years in Turkey. Well, just put him away for life. How about that? Let's make it simple. Uh, Kazakhstan eh, bans Russian sex trainer following outcry over plan to hold sessions in Altmany. Cable companies accidental email to rival discussion plan to block the competition. Foot found the Yellowstone hot pool ID as that of an LA man. I think I read that story a while ago. My punchline for the joke was: "There's a lot of holes in that one." It was a, it was a, it was a, um, a foot, sh- a foot found in a shoe. Uh, Mum relieved after Palestine balls stop leaking into home. <laughs> he said balls. <laughs> John Roadway Christmas bobbles tumble through London street wrecking havoc. So far, no good Florida stories. I'm waiting for the Florida stories. Pilot hangs out window to retrieve passengers' forgotten phone. The forgotten Gimp is giving Gimps a bad name. I thought Gimp was an offensive term. A live bird at a Taronga Zoo has been mimicking the evident now. Alarms since the lions escape through enclosure. Texas man falls to his death. After dancing on top of a moving 18 wheeler past an underbridge. Yeah, people die like that. They, they'll do anything for the views, folks. <clears throat> That's why I play it safe. That's why I play it safe. It's not about the views, folks. Fuck the views. A uh, 14 year old inventor from California named America's Top Young Scientist. What did he invent? They didn't even say what he invented. I have to read the story. Eh, whatever. Suburban Mom Handcuff. Okay, I read that already. These Japanese beef croquettes, uh, croquettes are so popular there's a 30 year old wait list. Okay, wait 30 years. 25 to 40,000 minks with a diet consistent of fresh kills released from farm. No good story so far. Wait a minute, this might be something. M- man who lost to his mom in election is charged with rape. What does that mean? Did he rape his mom? Holy. Make Bean Sexy, new campaign ad group promoting the environmental and health benefits of beans. Beans and corn. Beans and corn. <clears throat> I've read that already. About the guy chain smoking. Prosecutor defeats Chewbacca defense in an actual federal court case. Muffle, muffin hurled at judge in courtroom during sentencing. Hmm. Here we go, guys. There's a Florida story. It might not be that good, though. Florida high school employee complains about Bible verse on co-workers' parking space. It's attacking me. And it's not that good, but... Uh, Cobra bites boy, and the boy bites it back. The boy was fine. The snake was... I think I read that last week, but they, they worded it around. Man who ate 40 rotisserie chickens in 40 days says it felt like the right thing to do. Uh, rotisserie chickens can be very good. Very juicy, especially with hot sauce and just the right kind of roll. Mmm. Hello, fresh of cute of accused of using coconut milk obtained from monkey labor. <laughs> Halifax transcriber des- uh, designs Canada's first ever indigenous braille code. 
I took cold showers for a full year. It was a complete waste of time. Yeah, Joe Rogan. People would say if you take cold showers, it's going to make you muscular. No, it doesn't do anything but shrink your nuts and make you sick. Don't do it. The struggle of New York City's weed bus pioneer. Study uh, records uh, chimp. Ooh, oh, an actual chimp. Showing off an object in human-like way. Tokyo researchers discover rats have rhythm, yo. Thieves steal kitchen appliances from Chicago homes for sale. So they steal them from their homes and they sell them. Uh, people do all sorts of things when they steal your stuff. I would say. A uh, new genetically engineered house plant cleans air as efficiently as dirty air purifiers. All right, well let's let's, let's do that then. Uh, we're coming down to the wire here, folks. Man discovers. Okay, I read that already. Human skulls, uh, skeletal remains unearthed by Hurricane Nicole in Florida Beach. Uh, mermaids in California save screwdriver from drowning. Not just pretty tails and smiles. Were they black mermaids? Was it the black Ariel? The one who commits all the crimes? Uh, Justin Newstead thinks Metallica into the same man as Corn. I think I read that last week. Let's see. Yeah. Well, folks, that's it for the podcast. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. And uh, as far as what's on the show next week, I know I keep saying a prank call show. I can't promise that. I would like to do one. I'm very lazy and plus I'm out of ideas, but maybe I'll just force myself to do one. Got some Craigslist numbers, whatever. Of course, the last week of live streaming, for those of you who enjoyed the live streaming, the views have been dropping, which I'm glad. Uh, you people already gave it up already, which is the right thing to do. Only a couple more streams. I'm probably going to do one either on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then do one on Friday and Saturday. And that is it. No more live streams till next summer for those of you who, uh, who like to watch me just pretty much do nothing. Sit in my car or eat or just sit in Old City play with my cock. Regardless of that, that is it for the show. I thank you folks for listening. I'll see you on the next one. You just listen to, and we're out of here. Go fuck yourself, cuff.